In this video, I'm going to show you how to try out Llama 2 LLM in AWS SageMaker. So log into your AWS account, go to AWS SageMaker service, and then from here, you need to select a domain. If this is the first time you are using AWS SageMaker, then go to domains on the left hand side and then click on create domain. And from here, you can create a new domain. So there is a quick setup where if you have a default vpc it will create this domain with efs volume and a few other things in um, this default vpc if you want to put this domain in a custom vpc then click on standard setup and then go from there make sure that you are in the supported region such as us east one two for instance if you are in sydney region it won't work because um, these llms are not available there Okay, so I'm already in my US East one region and I already have created a domain Which is a test domain as you can see on my screen and it takes a bit of a time to create it So just uh, process is easy, but takes a bit of a time anyway So once domain is there then click on studio on the left hand side from here You can see that it already selected a user profile which is defined in your domain Again, you just need to do click click and it will create a default user then click on open studio and it will open a new screen where you will be presented with few options to play around with the LLM. So let's wait for it to finish. Okay, so once you are in the studio on the left hand side, you can click on SageMaker jumpstart and then click on models and notebook solutions. Once you click here, on the right hand side, you'll be presented with a lot of pre-trained, pre-built model, which you can readily use from this jumpstart guide. For the Llama 2 ones, just go to this foundation models text generation carousel or section. And here you will see the Llama 2 models. And uh, here you can see the 7B, Llama 2 7B chat and also the Llama 2 70B chat. So let's go with the 7B chat. To see how it works, just click on it. Now, from here, you can simply click on deploy, and the deploy configuration shows you what sort of EC2 instance it will be using behind the scene and what would be the endpoint name. So, in the security settings, simply tell you what IAM role and stuff it will be using. I'm just using the default ones. So, click on deploy. It is asking me if I are. If I have read and accept the EULA, so I have, so click here. And now it is preparing my model and deploying it in an isolated place. Takes a bit of a time, so let's wait for it to finish. Model has been deployed. Now let's open the notebook. Click on this button and it should open a new book in another window. And it is starting the notebook kernel. So let's wait for it to finish. Our kernel is ready. Now let's run all of these cells in this notebook one by one. So I'm clicking in this one, click on this play button. It's done. Now go to the dialog where we have put in all the roles and users. So remember that Llama 2 model only supports system user and the assistant role. So first time you have to specify them and then you can go with UA, UA and I will show you how that works. Plus one more thing I wanted to tell you is that this model supports these three parameters. Max new tokens is um, specifies the output length for the text, temperature controls the randomness of the responses and top underscore P basically specify the diversity of the output. Okay, now let's click on this cell. Click on play button. It is done. And now let's run this model. And we're just specifying this endpoint name, which is endpoint name of, of our model, which we have just created. So click here and click on play button. It is done. And now let's see what it prints as on the basis of this prompts, which we have given in this one. Click here and Click print here and static shows that it is running. So let's wait for it to finish. And remember that Llama 2 model is optimized for the dialogue in chat. There you go. 
So if I go above and see what exactly the prompt was, the prompt was what is the recipe of mayonnaise and then I'm going to Paris, what should I see? If you go down, it has given us um, this output. So first we asked what is the recipe of mayonnaise and then assistant replied with all the ingredients and instruction. And similarly, when we said, okay, I'm going to Paris, what should I see? And it has replied in this fashion. So if you go above and change it again, for example, if I ask it, what is the capital of Tonga? And maybe I will ask it some other random question. What AWS service should I use for bulk SMS? Let's see what it does now. And as you can see, it, uh, it has been trained on this, but I'm not, I'm just, I will just leave it like this to see if it gets confused or not. So click on play button first. Now again, we need to run this. And then let's see what happens with the dialog one. It is running. Okay, so we have asked him what is the capital of Tonga. So it has given us this uh, Nuku Alufa, which is very much correct. And it has also uh, given us quite a good information about Tonga Tapu, which is the biggest island. That is nice. Now, here you go. You see that when I asked it as a user, what service should I use? And because I had given it some um, options in the prompt, so that is why it got confused. It is returning what I asked for. So again, remember that models are intelligent, but they largely depend on what you provide to them. Now, you can alter these dialogues as you wish. Let me show you one more dialogue uh, and I will replace it with a proper one to avoid any hallucination. Let's try out with different prompts again. So I'm going to give it, we already have asked it, but it's the capital of Tonga and it replied to us with a correct capital. Now let's use another prompt. So I'm just using VJW service to use for the bulk SMS, click on play button, and then you don't have to rerun this one again. You can simply go directly with this option where we are running that prompt to print out the output. Now let's wait for it. So I have asked it which AWS service to use for bulk SMS. I'm hoping it will give me SES or pinpoint, but let's see what it comes up with. And again, this direct shows that it is running. So let's wait for it to finish. So the model has returned with an answer after 10 minutes. So it took long time. Um, and as you can see, the answer really doesn't make sense because instead of giving me the AWS service, it is just going towards some third party tool, Twilo. I was hoping it would return me pinpoint. But anyway, no worries. Let's try out with one another prompt. This time I'm asking it to write me a smart contract for Cardano Ada blockchain. So let me run this one and then in this one, it's optional. And now let's run this one. So let's wait for it to finish. So again, the model was un um, unable to or did it want to create the uh, smart contract, but nonetheless, it has provided me what exactly that is. So which is pretty interesting. Now let's try out with one more philosophical um, prompt which is, what is the meaning of life and then use this one and play out this one let's see what happens now let's wait for it to finish okay there you go so it has given us some uh, biological perspective religious perspective and a lot of other perspective which is uh, quite good and you can see that it it has trimmed the output because we had given it some max token parameter above which you can change obviously. So this is it guys. Uh, in this video, you have seen that how to use AWS SageMaker to try out this Llama 2 model from the jumpstart. I hope that you like the content. If you have any feedback or questions, please put them in the comments and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.